Got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages and some PLA. So I'll push this over to the side. Is that still in shot? No, that's good. Alright, let's start with this one. And it says battery case. Okay. The bag. Okay, the sticker sticks to the inside of the bag. Alright, these are um, some kind of coin cell battery cases. Let's see. One, two, three. This is five of them, it looks like. Or is it four? Yep, five. Uh, these look like they are double coin cell holders, so um, they're probably in series or parallel. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, they're in series. Um, hmm. I don't know how you can modify that. I guess I guess if you put them both the same direction, it should go in both ways. Then it'll be parallel. I think these fit uh, CR2032s and maybe some thicker ones. No, it looks like that's pretty much it. And then this is that screws? The screw closed. Well, it doesn't come with the screws, but you can screw them shut after they're assembled. You'd have to see what's just probably the same screws as those, but it doesn't come with the screws. Hmm. So those are dual coin cell holders and I'm pretty sure you can put one you can put them in series or parallel because um, I don't see any there's no notching or anything in there that would prevent that I'll test it out maybe all right next says real uh, solder this is this is solder. This is just real cheapy generic solder. 0.3 millimeter, uh, 6337, 1.5% um, flux. But uh, for for the cheaper solders, I saw. I think somebody else purchased this on YouTube, and uh, I was impressed with the quality of you know the packaging and everything. And this is very fine solder. This is. Incredibly fine. I don't, I don't think I have anything that small yet. So that'll come in handy when doing micro soldering. Yeah, I mean, it says, um, it says Kusu, K O O C U, and that's on the sticker, but it's also branded into the reel. So that must be the, a genuine brand or you know, original seller. A lot of these just have stickers and you don't know who made the solder. You know, it's all the same. It's just rebranded. So I'll check that out. USB converter. <laughs> that stuck to the wall. All right. I saw this pop up in my eBay list at the bottom and I never I've never seen it before it's a I think it's a three-way converter so this will convert micro USB C USB A and a header so that, that was kind of cool Good, good, good to have on your bench when you need to just convert something. 
you got a, you got a USB jack here and you got to get it somewhere else. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what this would be made for. The fact that it's four and one is kind of cool. You stick this on a breadboard and it can take any kind of plug you can think of. Except for micro. I mean, uh, mini. Mini would be cool to have mini on there too. Interesting. Not sure why who would why they made who made that and why they made it. It's a very odd, very odd. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, propylene safety capacitor. Prop polypropylene safety capacitor. Yeah, I ordered some X2 caps and some safety caps for AC. And that's what they are. They're kind of small actually. What kind of these? These say they are 0.22 microfarad K X2 275 volt AC 40121C. There's a part number on the bottom, but I can't really make it out. This is X2 caps. These caps are uh, they're called safety caps because they're uh, not supposed to uh, explode when you pass high, high current, uh, high voltage AC through them. Just a little pack of black and red heat shrink. I have a bunch of heat shrink, but it's all mixed together. And I was, was planning on making some, uh, just some banana cables and stuff. So I thought I'd just have a, a pack of black and red assorted to use up for that. All right, next up is PC board. Was it kind of all off screen? That's not really a lot. I thought I ordered a bunch of these. I just ordered 10? Really? I have a bunch of these boards and I wound up using them for a lot of different footprints. You know, not just, uh, you know, not just the S, you know, SOT23s. And that was the side, this side is the um, SOP10. 0.5 millimeter. This is uh 0.95 millimeter. So I've actually had a bunch of these and I wound up using them from from mounting all kinds of surface mount LEDs and buttons and stuff like that. And the footprints, the spacing is, is pretty good for generic stuff. So I just bought some more. And there are SOT breakouts. Uh, sensor. is some kind of sensor oh it's like a kit interesting never got a module that was a kit all right so this is a breakout board f uh, for I doubt that's that's probably their number WCMCU101, but it's for this some kind of photo diode light sensor in a dip package. Interesting. Hmm, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. You gotta, I guess, I'll put a socket on there maybe. But yeah comes unassembled. Interesting. So we've got a light sensor and a dip package. All right, electrical equipment and supplies. Uh, I already 
ordered some of these. I don't know why I ordered more. Huh, interesting. These are vertical mount USB jacks. So they sit up on the board, not sideways. But they have a very, very fine footprint. But I, already, or I got some, maybe I just ordered, I don't, I don't know what happened there. I'll have to double check and make sure that's right because I can't see I ordered 30 of those. I'm not even, I don't even have any plans to use them. Fingers like asleep. That's weird. Why is my finger asleep? All right, next up, it's uh, unlabeled. I think it was maybe reshipped. All right. All right, these are angled lure block connectors. So these are for like my vacuum, SMD vacuum pickup tool. So like this guy right here, they go on, it's a standard lure lock uh, connector which is, I'll show you real quick. That's these um, syringe. Uh, well, this one's not really a lure lock. It's just kind of a, it's just the shape of it. Normally it has a, a twist that locks in, but they basically fit on syringes, the standard syringe fat fit, and these are pre-bent. Um, these ones I bent myself. I put a piece of wire in there and bent them so they wouldn't kink, but they still kink a little bit and the angle's hard to, really hard to get. And if you bend it more than once, they break. So I made whatever gauge these are. Very fine. It's the purple and green. So I made these two. And then I just bought some that were pre-bent. Pre because, I mean, look at this tiny one. Hopefully this guy's just not bent. No, they're bent properly. They're actually work uh, work bent. There's no kink in the in the bend. So hopefully these angles are. I think these are 30 degree. Let's see how those work out. All right, one more. Safety capacitor. Looks like I got some more caps. I don't know if these are the bigger ones or the smaller. Okay, these are the these are the ones I expected. These are the big beefy X2 caps. 0.47 ohm. This is something you'd use in a smaller project. I did get one more thing. I got some. I ordered some more PLA because I wanted some more colors. So I ordered some Hatchbox 1.4. 75 PLA. Let's see what color I got. Bam! Pink. Really pink. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully it's a cool color when it breaks. Cool. That's it for now. Till next time.